These are the best highlights from the matchup between AL and FPX during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. News for a flash and a cleanse. <laughs> All things considered, everyone walks yeah. away, but a lot of summoners. Yeah, now a hex flash onto Hope. Okay, nice CC chain and Hope actually gonna get the door. He's just gone. Fantastic wow. bit of play from the FBX bottom lane. Gale looking for the return. Kill. Oh no, he hits the ward. The ward placed in front of him and it's a double kill for life. It's a disaster for anyone's legend's bottom lane there. The way and see. There's a Milky Way. He does hit level six here. Does edge the skirmish in their favor, FPX that is. All up. Should be alright to just walk back into lane. Might eat a bit of gunk on the uh, Milky Way's had the opportunity to reset. Croco's on his top side. FPX are fully aware of this. Both the junglers have been, you know, kind of clearing in cycle from top to bottom the entire game. Uh, but these cycles just haven't worked out for Croco. It's TP a player in here to make sure that they're a part of everything. Hope moves in. It's one grub for the side of FPX here and it's one for the side of AL. They're looking for second as well and it looks like fbx are just gonna accept defeat on this one they've got care Still push to clear the whole wave no tp up for him so the lower health bar will be a problem his vision cleared away milky way once again on repeat here trying to get the invade onto the enemy blue but the crocker will smite it this time fbx don't get their prize no not yet but you can see fpx they're really trying to utilize the heavy skirmishing power of the brand early on Trying to set him up as, again, Stun. another play. Follow-up comes on in. There's the passive proc. Kale trying to get away. The Pyroclasm. Ignite ticking. The burn is not. It is enough. Milky Way. Gra yeah, it looks like maybe the call is to try and contend the Herald. I don't know. Uh, care. Okay, Valk's out. Oh, wow. Requiem comes on in. All out. Comes through. And they finish the job. Assassination from Ala and Croco. Now Shalahu trying to get in the mix. Ala the target, but Shalahu's gone too far. The rest of AL were on Herald already. And that's going to be Shalahu's flash and teleport. Wow. I mean, what an excellent play. All in all to find that pick. Uh, just knowing their damage. Through and through, the only issue now for AL is that because they use all of these tools they aren't gonna get this herald which you know you've got the double demolitionist comp you, you would love it right you would really love to have the herald it's basically a free tower when you have tristana when you have ziggs they get a free tower i suppose on that bottom side duck cool. a little bit wide from hope but uh they get the herald yeah fpx and they'll probably uh, no they won't get the dragon that's a bit too far-fetched the fact that care and duck of course both on tier champions right those muramanas very close to being complete. Oh, Kale. chance on the bottom side. I mean, Shaolau, who just gets destroyed by the combo. Big damage out for Milky Way to answer, but it's not enough to finish a kill. Cool down for Milky Way. But anyone's legend, their approach is a bit strange. Yeah. This is a bit <laughs> scattered. Shanks is just in the back of the pit on his own, clears the vision. It's going to continue to solo this Drake as Croco steps forwards. Oh, wow. Dodging some of those skill shots. It's going to be a smite off between the two junglers. Oh. And in fact, it's Doctum that wins the smite fight. Croco goes down. It's a kill on top of the Drake as Kale barely surviving. And Requiem answers Doctum's crimes. It's a one for one, but it's FBX with a Drake. Right. Uh, yeah. from, Do you know? From them. At the end there, with the Requiem coming down, oh, hang on, hold that thought. Life has been caught out in the jungle. AL find themselves a pick. Baron is up on the map. Oh my God, is this uh, is this where the game pace really picks up? To AL pull the trigger while they're all on the top side. Croco is making his way over. I think AL might yeah, just look for a chance this. on the Baron. They can burst it really quickly. Tristana's two and a half items. They've got this Karthus as well. It's a lot of damage. FPX, they have to check this. Milky Way's got Pyroclasm. Keep your eyes on him, but Arla's it's... on a flank. Milky Way smite is on cooldown for a few more seconds. AL, I don't think they're aware. They're not necessarily just bursting right now. The health bars are getting low in the pits. 3k oh. on the Baron. Shanks goes for a buster shot. The bomb comes in. Baron taken by Croco. But now he's stuck in the back of the pit. The recall's trying to come on through. Croco is going to try and blast go back out to safety. But no, <laughs> knocks life away instead. He will go down, but he got Shanks out. Ala got out. Almost. <laughs> it's not It's not a friendly combo, is it? It's not one that you uh, want to be going up against. But here we go, Drake. Spawning in five seconds, and Kale knows it. Starts the fight immediately onto life, and Shanks following up, but Kale's the one to go down. 
care the better AD carry out of our mid lane as it seems. But AL, despite losing their support, just start this Drake up immediately and look to burst this one out. Drake should go down. The TP coming on through. Croco desperately trying to finish the Drake before the enemy arrives. Croco doesn't have flash. He's stuck in the back of the pit. Ala is there to protect his jungler. Moves towards the enemy as Croco getting some damage down as well. Shanks has to flash away, but they've done enough to force everyone away. Oh. Dogdom, oh. does he have the MR? The burn on Milky Way. I thought he was brand. <laughs> on the other yeah. side, you can kind of, you know, equalize a lot of that, uh, that feel, that pressure. Though we've not seen, you know, a massive, massive pyroclasm or combo come out just yet from Milky Way, and I think that's credit to AL. They're looking for a pick onto him now, though. KL starts it once again. Bomb onto Milky Way. Where did he blow to smithereens? I mean, he's just gone. Phenomenal combo out from Kale and Hope. They lose the 2v2 early, but they redeem themselves later on into the game. Now Baron started once again for AL. They got one this game already, but Shalahu on the bottom side of the play, and he's close to getting into Mega Nar 4v5. But FBX, care has been found, and now suddenly things look pear shaped and a half. AL back onto the Baron once more. Milky Way not on the scene. Dogdom, he's got one neutral this game. Can't make it into a second, but AL fully oh in control. How is Solar? Flare back off a cooldown again. <laughs> Dogdom's gonna go down as Shanks gets the reset and looks for life as well. Shanks is just shredding health bars and AL once you give him an inch. And now Satchel yeah. in the mid lane too. I, I, the whole map uh, has just fallen to pieces. Yeah, this is tragic for FPX. You understand the thought process, but they're losing more than they probably anticipated. Pace is too quick for them. Cares coming back to base, but I mean, Wait. AL, they're looking at Nexus Towers. They're just gonna end the game. The Baron, who cares about Ocean Drake? They're just gonna try and finish things off. Ala takes a good chunk of damage. The burn is there, and in goes life for a hero play to save the game, but Dogdom's gone down. Shanks is just 1v3 in the backside of the play and kills all three. Shanks is taken over the game. He's done with FPX. He has obliterated them. 1-0 AL, phenomenal fight from Shanks and a phenomenal game from anyone's legend. Almost came. Yeah, scales up really well. It's a, it's a middling lane matchup, I will say that. But once you get that first item for Arla, once you get that try in that last game, it was always kind of edging out towards AL. Once AL were able to regain that gold lead, Shanks. Oh, already, already impacting multiple lanes. Wow. Shanks might just go down here. One more auto from Care. Oh, flash from Flash Care. He's ended up under the oh. tower. Oh, no. It all looked so good for FBX, but Shanks. Top side, the only significant leads being in that mid lane we know about. In the bot lane, though, 20 CS lead right now as life just finds yet more hooks. Kale flashing uh, onto Dogdom, but he doesn't have any HP to work with. Dogdom's gonna finish the kill, but he's, he's killed himself to make it happen. You just got hope back into this lane. Nah. Nah, it's all right. The wave's gonna slow push back into him. Hello, life. Uh, yeah, that's not one we want to life wins. Yeah. <laughs> Grubs as well for AL. Everything is just looking hunky dory for AL right now as Ala sees his team doing well and decides, you know what, I want a bit of that action. Sets up for the CC chain onto Shaolau Hu. Kale trying to follow it up as well. Ala is pretty low uh -oh. though. The Q3 from Shaolau Hu nearly flips it around as a kill for himself. And now the rest of FBX channel into the play. Kale gets flashed away from Q3, goes wide as Shanks is in a 2v1 and goes down. Care look at sweep up, Ala gets another one, two for one in favor of FBX. One more auto does the trick, and Care grabs a double. Care's not gonna faff around. Sante, honestly, they got the chunk. They probably should have just been happy with it, but let's get a look. Last minion sets up for a level six. Ash arrow comes up, so there's, I'm imagining some kind of skirmish also happened down in the river. Croco gets clipped. Uh... And that's what sets up for this rotation from FPX, so really, Kind of fortunate that final minion was the the tick over from the side of uh, AL, but for FPX, it's everything they want. And the rundown is just super easy because there's no one to actually contest the rotation up. What a phenomenal arrow. What a phenomenal arrow to manage the game. And honestly, this is now feeling really, really close because Hope uh, was massively ahead. He's fallen behind at this point. His doctor. You know, trading his life one. did give a bit of gold, but Shanks oh, caught man. by the arrow, and that's going to be another for Care. Shanks outplayed earlier on, but you can't outplay that. It's the kind of Ash you want to see 
It's just Ashara off cooldown. Just sling it out and just see what happens. Yeah, yeah too right. Shallow hoot. Okay, he's in the TV one this time around. The all-out comes through. Ala dodged oh. a bit of damage and will survive life. Now trying to escape with his life. Is the root available for Croco? I'm not sure. Oh, he hits again. those. You know he hits those. Life's going to go down to Croco, but Croco pulled under the tower before he goes. So Milky Way now with a chance at a double kill. Finds one. There's the second. And now Kale suddenly on the wrong side of the play. Trying to retreat to his tower and looks like Milky Way won't follow up for more. Just going to hold this wave. And hoping that his laner can grab that one. In the meantime, 1v1. No, Kale oh, trying to uh, find Milky Way that's upside. <laughs> Kale just solo killed Milky Way. But it's just very easily. Oh, in the meantime, life is caught. But oh, he is another fine, arrow. So he's not just... caught after all. Dog, damn. That's uh. looking good on the Ash. Finds another pick onto Croco and sets up for FBX to take over this mid game. Okay, got a little bit excited so, about that. He's got that skin on Zyre as well. He's not too shabby on it. As Doctor tries to move in the mid lane and did not realize that Allo was laying in oh. wait. Oh, oh. the interruption on Shanks! And Doctor still alive! The bomb finishes the job at Shala, who now getting on to Kale as they look for more life hunting. The sleep. Oh no! The plants come out <laughs> from Croco! Kale still goes down. Croco denied the hook with the plants! Oh man. I mean, they still would have had him, I think, either way, just because, you know, the, uh, the sleep was there, but. A little bit close, to say the least. And man, what a play from life again! Just finds the double stun underneath the tower and just turns the play on its head. I mean, you said, and we kind of alluded to life could have a bit of freedom on this pike if the map starts to open up and plays start to get a little bit loose. And he's responded in kind almost everywhere on the map with a lot of intention. He certainly has. I mean, this has been... I can't believe how different these two games have been. The first game, so slow, so calculated, so methodical from both teams in the early game. Really waiting until the mid-game before things kicked off. This game, I mean, right from the, the second items as well. AL trying to move in to potentially contest, but the uh, Herald's already gone. Yep, Herald is gone, so... Okay, that's his yeah. flash gone, and maybe AL can look for a repeat play in a couple of minutes' time. But again, all eyes on Milky Way for where he's going to put that Herald. Mid lane, top side, or oh, just get caught out here. Milky Way flashes away from the Stranglethorns. And life threatening with a hook. Alice TP didn't care, could be caught alone here, but hope in a 2v1 cleanse on the arrow. But Milky Way finds the swirl. Seed doesn't follow up with the sleep. Croco is caught. Ala finishes the job, but Croco all oh, flashes away from the ult from life. And Shanks finishes the job there. AL suddenly back in control. Yep, but it's going to be an immediate response here from FPX. Charge into the mid lane here. We'll take this tower in kindness. Obviously, kills and a tower trade on the top side. FPX trying to make the best of a bad situation. And AL just have the numbers oh. loaded up on that top side. How are they going to get through bullet time? It's just whether or not they can do it in the heat of the moment. They're 1-0 up in the series, and they would love to start this split. With a 2-0, they found life, and Ala just hard commits immediately. Pike's got a lot of movement speed, but not against a Camille. Ala. Makes it look easy as he sets up for a Drake. We'll just be able to pick this one up and, you know, life, for all of his slipperiness, can still be locked down by that Hextech Ormatum. He's not going to go very far inside of it. And he's very squishy. Pike. Of course, when you're doing this much roaming, he's level 7, 18 minutes into the game. He's barely got more than 1,000 HP. So, uh, very, very difficult to uh, survive that kind of play. And now AL on this dragon. Milky Way, he's on that mid lane wave. He's I mean, a yeah, he's while nowhere away. Near. He's nowhere near, but he's moving over and he's pretty damn quick. They've got vision in the pit. Dragon hasn't been burst. It's just going to be a 5v5 because life's already back in the mix again. 5k yeah. on the dragon as Croco just gets all in by Shalahu. Bullet time over, but the all out pulls Croco out of the pit. Croco gets taken down by Shalahu. And the Drake was taken in the meantime. FBX clean house. Hoping a 1v2 and he goes down in the end. Ala, last remaining player. FBX cleaner. Almost a complete sweep there. And FPX also get the dragon. So they're one more away from this Hextech Salt. Such a powerful one at that. Care? Ooh, Arla find them out. Hextech Ultimatum is back up and available. 
goes for the all-in in the 1v1. Milky Way is moving over, but Alex just cuts him clean in half. Mm. And now Milky Way. I'd have Allah for this. You, yeah, do you want this 1v1? <laughs> okay, Swirl Seed hits. Ultimate not available. Milky Way trying to space it. Dodges away from the tactical sweep. Life arrives on the scene as well, but the hook shot dives oh. into the play. <laughs> Allah has so much damage. Life just gets half HP and Kale moves into the play as well. Allah now still wow. alive, escaping, but can the rest of the gang get out? Horse being chased down by the deer. Jumps over the wall, though, and the buster shot from Shanks buys a bit of time and space. Doctum arriving on the side of the scene. His arrow is on cooldown, though. Ala gets out the great escape from anyone's legend. What a play from Ala. Utilizing the minion waves as they come in. Ravenous hype. She's got all his tools available. Everyone has flash bar Milky Way, so that's the oh. play you're looking for. Ash arrow goes between the posts. First miss, I think we've seen of the game. Kale is going to go down. Drake oh taken as FBX grouped up, but the bullet time cuts through them, forces the flash out from Shala, who Milky Way trying to survive in the meantime as Allah jumps over to the rest of the team. Care barely alive as Hope almost gets the auto, but it's cancelled. A Q onto Milky Way would finish the job, but life has been found by Shanks. And just as FBX feel like they're in control of the game, AL snatch it away. And it's Ala in the back line. He assassinates Duck Dom. He doesn't even get to play the game. Without that Asher, just to provide that brief reprieve, right? That like half a second stun it gives you when it's point blank. Ala just deals with him in the midst and the bullet time buys him all the rest of the space he needs. FPX, I mean Milky Way. Yeah. That would be a miracle. He's not going to make it work. Baron goes over to AO1 just like that. On the drop of a hat. We go from F. Shanks consistently in these fights just looks fantastic. Obviously, he's managed to get Tristana in both games, which does help with looking good. Doctum, the target once again. Hextech ultimate, and once again, and Doctum wonders what on earth he's meant to do against this once again. Bullet time now onto Kale with a Magnus Storm on top, and Ala even gets out. Even if Kale dies, it's still positive for AL, but I'm not even sure if Kale will die on this one. Yes, he will. Life finishes the job pretty comfortably. But either way, AL finding it because there is so much you know very valuable uh, yeah. bits of cc to cleanse so to say he's, he's chilling would be a bit of an understatement he's got a qss and he's on his way to a ga and he's just gonna find yet another valuable target get it's comboed <laughs> up and taken down ala has literally just taken this game by the horns and is just anytime it's on off cooldown rotate him with your team let someone else follow up and you know get the rest of the execution oh, no. damage croco not a, a good, good place out. to be. He's going to be put to sleep, though. I don't think he gets away with this one. Life, look, it's follow-up. There's an arrow coming on in, and Croco found by Life, but the bullet time across the team turns things around, and Life ignited. Allah is here to save the day once more. A double kill for the top laner of AL. He came in at the start of this split, and... By that slow, it's probably a flash and all. Out from Allah, Shalahu. Okay, knock back onto Kale. Perhaps an opportunity as the Magnet Storm comes in and the bullet oh. time on top. <laughs> See you later, FBX. Health bars gone. Allah into the backside as well as Shaola, who finished off by Shanks. Dogged him. He'll get a blast go now, but I mean, where is he going to go realistically? He's going to just recall in the brush. They don't care. They just want the base. They want to finish this one off in style. Yep, and they will indeed. AL. I mean, push the round. Going toe to toe in the early game, FBX did a good job of making it competitive, but go past those 20 minutes. Ala picks up all of these kills. It's too much to handle as they're onto the Nexus Towers. They're onto the players. They want more kills. <laughs> Ala. Level 18 with a GA. Not many people can 1v1 that. That's going to be the Nexus Bear, and that should be the game. AL finish things strong. Ala. These were some of the best moments from the matchup between AL and FPX during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Which moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.